Thanks, everyone. Uh, so joining us for another month of Power BI updates. So the Agile team has uh, prepared some of their key updates and favorites uh, for the team. Uh, obviously, lots of updates. Uh, we're only going to cover a subset of them, and let's get into it. Artyom, do you want to take it away? Yep, sure. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, well, my pick for today's session is Page Navigator. And I can say that previously to create navigation buttons uh, in your Power BI report, you had to go quite a long way, which uh, was mostly manual work. So you had to create uh, a shape or a button, then you had to go to actions, assign uh, navigation to it, and uh, well, uh, do the configuration of each button design for each page, which was really painful. Well, now it is just a few clicks, um, and you can create a fully functional and 90% customized navigation pane. So I will just show it in my demo report. All you need to do is to go to the insert uh, uh, section of the menu, buttons, and then you pick page navigator. And as you can see, Power BI already created a pre-configured navigation menu for uh, all of my pages. And the good thing is if I add a new page, it will be added there automatically, which is absolutely amazing and can save you lots of time. Now, when I have um, this object, I can do some additional configuration, and there are lots of interesting options you can uh, go through yourself. Well, for example, you can change uh, color for, for the selected page, which Power BI, by the way, detects automatically. So it knows that you are on the sales page and it highlights it with a different color that you can pick. Uh, other uh, configuration options, which is really interesting is um, shapes. So you can choose uh, from a long list of different shapes. Uh, uh, you, you even have parts here, uh, well, which is uh, pretty nice. Well, I, for my demo, I will use uh, this one. I will create a tabs imitation. And um, beside that, you can uh, have uh, some graphical effects like shadows, uh, glow, um, you can uh, make uh, your buttons uh, uh, presented uh, vertically instead of horizontally and put it uh, uh, somewhere else uh, on your report page. Well, um, when you are uh, done with graphics configuration, uh, you can um, actually decide whether you want to add uh, or no hidden pages. So you can have multiple hidden pages uh, in your report and there is an option to exclude them from your navigation menu, which is uh, also very useful, as well as tooltips page, as well, uh, of course. Well, when you're done with that, uh, all you need to do uh, just uh, to copy your object across all the pages. So I'm going to do that. Uh, before that, I will just add a small design element uh, to it, just a line, um, and it will make it a bit nicer. So I will change um, the color to blue and OK, I'm ready to go. So all I need to do now is to copy my navigation um, uh, object to all of my pages. And that's it. It's a fully functional menu uh, that you can use uh, in your report to navigate across your pages. Yeah, that's it from me. Perfect. Thank you, RTM. Over to you, Ken. Yeah, thanks, guys. Um, just share my screen. Uh, so I wanted to talk today about the um, the redesign format pane, um, firstly, and then uh, the scorecard uh, visual. So um, they've done a complete redesign of the formatting pane and all the options, uh, which has been a long time coming and a lot of um, features requested by users. Uh, they've redesigned all the um, toggles and icons, um, and they've also split the um, settings into general settings and visual specific settings. So visual specific within the visual and general, um, usually the container that uh, holds the visual, and that's the same across all visuals. Uh, they've added a global revert to default uh, setting, which is great. Instead of going through and changing everything one by one, you can just reset everything in one click. Uh, and if you remember the old formatting pane, it used to have uh, scroll bars and then a second scroll bar within different sections. So they've eliminated that, which was um, quite frustrating. 
previously and they've um, created these expandable cards uh, within which is uh, a lot nicer. Um, they've also grouped all the uh, font settings together which is, is much better, uh, including some of the new bold, italic and underline uh, font settings that have been added. So yeah, plenty, plenty in there. There's lots of other features, but that's just a, a selection. But if you dig in, you'll find lots of um, lots of stuff. They've really worked hard to completely redesign and overhaul the whole thing. So the other thing I want to talk about was the scorecard visual. Uh, one of the cool things I think about this is that it really allows you to really easily pull together lots of different data sources into one visual without having to import any data into your Power BI data set. Uh, you can basically just um, click on data point. You, when you add these data points, it you can go to any report you want, click any data point and add uh, metrics from anywhere. Um, and users can interact with it um, quite heavily. They can add um, notes, they can check in, they can change statuses, they can change dates. Um, so that's really cool, very interactive. Uh, one of the requirements that I often see uh, for businesses is they might have a whole heap of um, Power BI reports, but they want somewhere that's a landing page where they can navigate to all those other reports. And it's actually not um, that easy if a dashboard doesn't suit your purpose and um, you don't have everything called in one Power BI um, file. So uh, this can be a really easy option because each of these can link to the report that um, it came from. So it can act as kind of a, a landing page for organisations to see all their key metrics and how they're tracking and jump to uh, any of the reports within their tenant. Uh, that's it for me. I'll hand over to Owen. Great, thanks. Thanks very much. Hi everyone. I'll share my screen here. So. The, the two updates I'm going to talk about are the, well, the first one is the, the Google Sheet connector. So, uh, just hide that. And yeah, so a Google Sheets connector, you are, uh, it's now much easier to connect to a spreadsheet, uh, a Google Sheet spreadsheet stored on your uh, Google Drive. So up until now, you had to use Web Connector and it wasn't a great experience. Now it, the credentials are properly properly managed through the, the new connector. And basically all you need to do is find your Google Sheet uh, in the browser and grab this URL up to the end of the identifier. If you provide the whole URL, it still works, but that's all you need. Then it's simply a matter of going to Power BI Desktop and create a new Google Sheet query. I've already created one here and it basically applies this Google Sheets contents function with the URL. And the interface is very similar to an Excel workbook connection. So you get your uh, you get sheet and you get named ranges all showing up. So I've created a couple of queries from that file I, I just uh, showed you. They refresh just fine in desktop. Pretty, pretty snappy given they're small. And also if you publish in the Power BI service. There's no gateway required for refresh. So here you can see I have already loaded my credentials OAuth 2, no gateway needed. So very convenient if you are working with Google Sheets data. The, the second one I'll talk about briefly is the, this was not in the uh, Power BI desktop update per se, but this is being rolled out to tenant uh, over the next day or two, I believe. So Excel export to Excel improvements. So Basically, this update is all about exporting tables and matrices with the same layout you see in your report. So very soon in your Power BI tenant, you should see this option, data with current layout. So what it means is if you have a matrix looking something like this, you can export it to Excel and the layout is maintained. It's kind of a convenience thing for people doing ad hoc, quick analysis of data from a Power BI table or matrix. Of course, they're still analyzing Excel for your more uh, flexible pivot table type analysis, but for just dumping out data this and keeping the layout, this is a great feature. So yeah, looking forward to testing this one out. So thanks, that was my updates and I'll hand over to Believe and Mars up next. Thanks, Owen. Uh, last month we talked about Premium Gen 2. Uh, this month, embedded Gen 2 became generally available, which is mainly about performance boost. 
you get greater scale uh, as there are fewer memory restrictions and uh, there is a complete separation between report interaction and the scheduled refresh. You can also embed Power BI reports that contain paginated report visuals, which is really cool. The other thing that I'm going to just quickly show you is developer sandbox, which is a place that you can explore all the Power BI embedded features and also to get a feel of how your report would behave when you embed them into your own app. Let me just quickly share my screen and show you what it looks like. Uh, now under file, if you go to embed report, you see this option that is basically opening that developer playground. Here you can see all the API codes, like, uh, you know, all the properties, uh, things like uh, navigation, you know, if you want to set a report, active page, etc., filter, uh, and some other settings here. And you can simply drag and drop, like, let's say if you want to a refresh page and then having full screen, you can also test it and see what it looks like. Like if I run this, it should now make my screen in the full screen. A very simple, but you get the idea what it looks like. So that's really good. And you can also try to uh, get a free, uh, you know, environment to embed your report and see what it looks like when you put this into application. That's it for me. Awesome. Thanks guys for sharing. Uh, so it's uh, obviously uh, November updates, lots more updates. We'll actually include a link to the uh, to the Power BI page with has all the list of updates for anyone that's interested to learn a little bit more. Thanks team. Have a great uh, day. See ya. Thank you. See ya. Thanks, Thanks a lot. See ya. See ya. All right.